everyone, Christine here. Today I want to show you how you can wrap a wooden letter that you can buy at any local craft store with yarn so that you can use it as decoration for a party or for your home. how I wrap this. I'm going to tell you easy steps. I already showed you all the material that you need. Um, what you're first going to do is that if you want the letter, let's say the room is white or there's a predominant color, go ahead and paint the wooden letter um, to match that color. I'm actually going to leave it natural like this because I plan on um, covering all parts of the letter so it doesn't matter. Um, what you want to do first is start your what, with whatever color that you want. I'm going to start with blue. Make sure that when you're pulling from yarn, you may already know this, you pull from the inside of the crevices as opposed to unraveling it from underneath the paper. It's just going to be easier to store and it's easier to carry around. So I'm going to start from the top. I'm going to take off this sticker, put some glue on the letter so that it can grab. Always on the back, put the glue and then just keep wrapping the letter around. So that's, this is what that looks like. Take off the paper, very simple. Add some glue just to the top so that you can get the yarn to stick to the letter and you don't have to worry about it moving in the future. So I went ahead and did that. And it looks like this. Um, what I'm finding is that I'm going to have to put a little bit of glue on the sides because this letter is thick um, to make sure that I get the look that I want. Um, so you see the top and the side. And then it's just easier you want it to secure it because anything that I do, I want it to last longer than just the time frame when I give it to someone. Um, and I want it to be reusable. So I know that nothing lasts forever, but I do like for my work to, to last as long as it possibly can. Yes, once the glue in the back, you've already used up all that you've put on, go ahead and just add more. Make sure that you wrap it tightly so that it doesn't move. Um, this letter is raised, so it's going to have some type of um, dimension to it. So what I'm doing, I'm just pulling the yarn from the roll. This is the final product of the letter J being wrapped in yarn. It was lots of fun showing you how to do it. And I just want to go ahead and tell you that I actually um, teach myself these things because they're fun. Um, I go to the craft stores and I literally can just spend hours seeing all the great things and materials they have. You know, yarn is for so many different things. Why not just have fun with it? Um, you can wrap wreaths, you can wrap um, candle holders, anything you want. I know that um, art really is about having fun with it and using it to your advantage. So whatever it is that you need or you want, a look that you want, just go for it. Um, don't be afraid of doing art. It doesn't have to be perfect as long as you're having fun um, and you genuinely just want to do some crafts. If it is a task that you don't want to do, it may not come out as perfect as you want it because your heart is not poured into it. Um, and that's just for everything in life. But with art, it really is about just having fun with it. There is no perfect art because beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So um, something like this took like maybe 10 minutes and I'm gonna be able to use it for decoration and a nursery. So whatever it is that you want in life, I know this is like, oh my gosh, Christine, you're talking about wrapping a letter. Why are you getting so deep? It's what I do. 
no matter what you do in life, just do it with passion. Um, do it because you want to do it. And don't just follow what everybody else does. Because then that makes you a copycat. Remember, you were made uniquely. Um, there's no one else on earth like you. So there's no art like anyone else. Unless you're mass producing. And in that case, you're probably a business. But things like this, just have fun with it. Don't go crazy like looking online exactly how to do it every single step. Use what you have and have fun with it. Art is about fun. So that's my spiel about art because I really love the arts. Um, I go to homes all the time. And they're all different. And they are beautiful. So... I hope you have an amazing day and make sure that when you think about art, you think about yourself as an individual, unique, and no matter what your hands put what you put your hands on or to, just go with the flow. Don't super judge yourself like, oh my goodness, is that right? The yarn color and this. Just go with it. Art is about having fun. Scissors you only use once, but what the heck, I'm gonna show you everything.